Good morning. Good morning, everyone. So today we will be discussing about ARA control program, a quick review. So this is mainly based upon the revised WHO classification and treatment of childhood pneumonia published in 2014 and the standard treatment guidelines for management of common respiratory infections published by the government of India. So first of all, why an ARA control program? Because pneumonia accounts for 14% of all deaths of children under five years of age. And even in 2019, more than 7 lakh children died due to pneumonia. So what are the aims of this particular program? The main aim of this program is to decrease pneumonia mortality by early identification and appropriate drug therapy. And who is the target population? It is children less than five years of age. Now coming to what causes pneumonia. In developed countries, 11 to 12% of cases of pneumonia uh, are only 11 to 12 percent occur due to bacteria, rest is usually viral. Whereas in developing countries, more than 50 percent of pneumonia is believed to occur due to bacteria. That is one of the main reasons is because children in developing countries harbor the bacteria or nasopharyngeal carriage of bacteria is far higher. And 20 percent of viral infections also have secondary bacterial infection. So common organisms causing infection in this age group is pneumococci, et influenza, and staphylococcus. In whom do you suspect pneumonia? Any child with cough or breathing difficulty, you should suspect pneumonia. Remember, fever is not mandatory. Children with severe malnutrition or severe illness, instead of having fever, they may be having hypothermia. So that is not mandatory. Now, how do you diagnose pneumonia? Pneumonia is very simple to diagnose in a child less than five years because all you look at is the respiratory rate because it is found to be highly sensitive and specific. The sensitivity is far higher than physician diagnosed pneumonia by looking at the crepitations. But only caveat is we need to count the respiratory rate for one minute and that too when the baby is calm and not feeling. If the baby is less than two months of age, you need to recount 10 minutes later because babies always, usually children, babies less than two months have varying respiratory rate. So what is tachypnea or pneumonia in a child less than five years? If the baby is less than two months, it's more than 60 per minute. Two months to 11 months, it is more than 50 per minute. And 11 months to 49 months, that is one to five years, more than 40 per minute is taken as pneumonia. Now, how do you classify pneumonia? So earlier, we used to classify pneumonia as pneumonia, severe pneumonia and very severe disease. Now you don't have that classification. Instead of three, you just have two classification. That is either the patient has pneumonia or the patient has severe pneumonia. So both fast breathing pneumonia as well as chest in drawing pneumonia comes under pneumonia. If there is a danger sign, it becomes severe pneumonia. And if there is no fast breathing or no chest in drawing, it is taken as an upper respiratory infection for which only symptomatic treatment is needed. No antibiotics are usually not needed. So it is important to understand that to diagnose pneumonia, it is either fast breathing or chest in drawing. It is not mandatory that both should be there because often when the chest in drawing settles in, the rate may be slightly lower. So what are the danger signs of severe pneumonia? Inability to drink or feed, con convulsion, not feeding at rest, drowsiness or excessive sleepiness, hypothermia, strider in a calm child, cyanosis, grunting, head nodding, apnea in a baby less than two months and pneumonia in a child with severe malnutrition is taken as a danger sign. The newer addition is a saturation less than 92 percentage is also taken as severe pneumonia. Remember inability to drink is considered a more severe disease than an inability to feed but both are taken as danger signs. So a child having any of this needs admission as well as parenteral antibiotics. Now, what is the treatment? 
if the baby is more than two months of age and has fast breathing pneumonia like this baby but without any danger signs then it is classified as pneumonia and the baby can be treated with oral amoxicillin 40 mg per kg per dose twice daily for five days. WHO says that in areas with low prevalence of HIV, even a three-day course is enough. So you can treat these babies without danger signs at home. Now, what about children with chest indrawing pneumonia? You can see here there is a chest indrawing. Remember, chest indrawing is the lower rib cage going in while you are taking a inspiration. Intercoastal in drawing and chest in drawing are not the same. Chest in drawing happens because the as the pneumonia progresses, the lung loses its elasticity. That is why there is a chest in drawing. So this is more severe than fast breathing. But several randomized multicentral control trials found that even in children with chest in drawing pneumonia, if they don't have any other danger sign, that means the baby is otherwise active, feeding well at breast, then you can treat them with oral amoxicillin 40 mg per kg per dose twice daily. That is total 80 mg per kg for five days. So that is a newer change. Earlier, every child with chest in drawing pneumonia was admitted in hospital. Now it is with chest in drawing pneumonia without any other danger sign. They can be treated at home with oral amoxicillin. Now what about children with severe pneumonia? So remember, severe pneumonia is a child with chest in drawing or fast breathing with danger signs. They need to be admitted to the hospital and started on ambicillin 50 mg per kg per dose 6 hourly or benzylpencillin 50,000 units per kg IM or IV 6 hourly along with gendamicin 7.5 mg per kilogram once daily for minimum of 5 days. In fact, Ministry of Health guideline is to give it for 7 to 10 days. And if the patient does not respond in 48 hours, that is, there is either deterioration or no improvement, then the child has to be started on second line antibiotic, that is, injection ceftriaxone or cefotaxime, that is, third generation cephalosporin. And if there is a suspicion of staphylococcal infection, especially when you have pyodermas, you must be thinking of a staph infection, then you need to add cloxacillin. And when you are adding cloxacillin for an empyema, the antibiotic treatment is for four to six weeks. Now, there is a subgroup of patients with whom treatment is slightly different. That is patient with HIV infection or HIV exposed. So in this subgroup of patients, even if they have chest in drawing pneumonia, without danger sign, they need to be admitted. They have to be admitted and given parenteral antibiotics, that is ambicillin or crystalline penicillin with gendamicin. So this is important to understand because pneumonia can be severe in an HIV infected or exposed child. And similarly, in an HIV uh, infected child, if the baby is between two months to one year of age, uh, they have to be offered empirical cotramoxazol for treatment of suspected pneumocystis cherokee. So that is regarding HIV infected or exposed children. Now, what about babies less than two months? Remember, whatever we discussed till now is for babies more than two months of age, but less than five years of age. Now, what about children less than two months? Naturally, smaller infants, smaller babies are more at risk of severe infection and mortality. So that is why in this subgroup of patient, any form of pneumonia is taken as severe pneumonia and they are admitted. That means if they have chest in drawing, uh, also they need to be admitted. If they don't have chest in drawing, they just have tachypnea more than 60 per minute, even then they need to be admitted. And if they have any danger signs, naturally mandatory that they need to be admitted. So here you can see that all cases of pneumonia in less than two months require admission and parenteral treatment with ambicillin and gendamicin and the duration of treatment is 7 to 10 days. Here, agenda is slightly lower dose, it is 5 mg per kg once daily dosage is given. Thank you.